What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You'll need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood, do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps, but we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now... Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies, yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. I should ask Serona of the Three Broom... ...about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. After class, once you have completed the tasks I've set for you, I would like to teach you Descendo, 
useful for pulling objects to the ground. Off on another adventure, are we? You try coming up with clever passwords day in, day out. Not as easy as... you a great debt. Well done, taking down a fully grown troll. Ugh, what am I missing? I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back.
Velio. Hello there, come on in. Revelio. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all? Wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. A wise decision. Thank you.
very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. to see you again. Farewell for now. decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Excellent!
Was it two pinches of Angelica or three? Bertha Sharp is so intimidating. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. determined Still out of I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher.
Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgok. <sighs> He's a friend. I was surprised that you seemed friendly with a goblin. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies, plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Rebellion. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Outside the castle. You too, Amit. Welcome to the Ogg's Head. Any empty seat is yours. You look familiar. Hello, Lord Gok. Serona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to. So I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me. And she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. 
Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Revelio. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the Severing Charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. employment was at Honeydukes. <laughs> Stock girl I was. I did put on a bit of... Anyone can run a shop if they inherited it. I wouldn't feel right asking what else to pick up after me. If only I could invent a new potion. Something less indispensable. Pavelio. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. 
The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Revelio. Expelliarmus! Can bring us! Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? 
The helmet of Ertgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else, a symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. <laughs>